UP as well as I am also a mediator trainer and I am the only lady mediator trainer in the state of UP. Uh, so I can say that I am a achiever regarding this mediation training. Uh, to start with, I would like to congratulate all of us on the occasion of International Women's Day, which is celebrated each year on the 8th of March to spread awareness regarding empowerment of women and how women are becoming change makers. Women have always played a very significant role in preventing and ending conflicts in order to make a better environment. In the past, we always, we can say that generally women were considered inferior to men. However, today things have changed and women are equal to men, virtually in every field. And in some cases, women are preferred over men. So I can say that this is a big achievement. But in spite of many strides to advance women's empowerment, we are yet to achieve proper progress in areas of public life. So I can say that we have still to go a long way. So our today's topic is she the change maker. Now the question crops up, who is a change maker? So we must understand who is a change maker. A change maker is someone with the skills and confidence to lead change in their homes, workplace, community and society. A change maker is also one who is taking creative action to solve social problems and keeps trying until the goal is achieved. They practice and live the values of empathy, creativity, leadership, and teamwork. Now you can see that history is full of women change makers, like Madame Curie, Florence Nightingale, Mother Teresa, and many more. And at the present time, like Savitri Bai Phule, she made it possible for women to have education. She was the founder of the first school for girls. And Madam Sudha Krishnamurti, wife of founder of Infosys. She is Indian businesswoman, engineering teacher, writer, social worker, and also chairperson of Infosys Foundation. Now we can say our daily life comprises of many women, like mother, daughter, sister, wife, aunt, niece, who give love, cry, laugh, heal, thrive, nurture, create as a change maker, so as to make this world a better place to live in. Role of a woman as a change maker in a family setup cannot be overlooked. We all know, we are all, we are all having families, we are all mother, sister, wife. So we can say ki as a mother, she inculcates good habits, values, and moral strength in the upbringing of the children. That is very important. And it can also be said that it contributes to the nation building also. We as a change maker should let our spirit of generosity always grow and keep pace with the current times and also inspire others to do what they love to do. This will also create a sense of belonging and interest in the things they do. We should give people and things the time and importance they deserve. That is very important. We must also understand the impact of our actions on things and people. Some social entrepreneurs, especially women, also change makers as they tackle major daily life issues and offer new ideas for system changes for our society. A change maker should have a growth mindset with good influencing and communication skill. This is very important. We should all have a good communication skill. Then, and also along with the work-life balance, we must balance between our personal life and our professional life. 
in spite of all these efforts, we can say by a woman change maker, it is unfortunate that due credit is not given. As per a quote in Facebook, I just read yesterday only, it was written there, a whole generation worked to empower women, but forgot to teach men how to live with empowerment. Right. I repeat, a whole generation worked to empower women, but forgot to teach men how to live with empowered women. I really like this. That is why I am happy with this here. So if we talk about women empowerment, then it is necessary for a woman to come out of the mindset that they are weaker ones and dependent on men. They should live a life of equality and dignity for which education, financial independence, and self-confidence is absolutely important. So to conclude, I would say that we still have to go a long way, very, very long way to attain that stage where women gain respect, uh, feel safer in the society, and do not face gender discrimination and lead a dignified life as a change maker. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, ma'am. Uh, you have really uh, very well said that miles to go before we get this respect and honor which yes. we deserve. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, uh, our uh, next speaker is Madam Sapna Tripathi. So now we'll listen to Sapna Tripathi, ma'am. Uh, she is secretary UP State Law Commission. She passed her LNB exam from Faculty of Law BHU in first division. She started her journey in judicial services from 2003 as additional civil judge junior division. She has worked for the widows of Mathura in capacity of secretary district legal service authority Mathura. As CBI magistrate, she has dealt with the infamous Nithari case and Arushi murder case. Ma'am, now we are looking forward to you to share your views as change maker. Thank you, Vibha. Honorable Mrs. Justice Lak Vijay Lakshmi, ma'am. Ali Mandi, sir. Vibha. And. Uh, It's a proud moment uh, for each of alumni of Law School that this year, 2022, Alma Mater founded in the year 1922 has completed 100 years. And is uh, is my voice audible? Yes, yes. Perfectly, ma'am. Uh, and is celebrating centenary year. I congratulate you all on this occasion. Dharma Vishwasya Jagata Pratishtha, that is, Dharm is the firm foundation upon which the entire universe rests. The motto behind the establishment of our institution that meant for the propagation and development of legal education in the country. This can be witnessed in different fields, be it judiciary, academics, bureaucracy, politics. I think uh, whatever we have achieved in our professional life, we are always indebted to our alma mater. Coming to the occasion for which we are uh, gathered here through webinar, I would like to wish Happy Women's Day to all of you. About myself, I was appointed as Judicial Officer in the State of UP in the year 2003. Currently, I am holding the post of Secretary UP State Law Commission, Lucknow. I did BA Paul Science Honours from MMV BHU in the year 1993 and thereafter LLB from Faculty of Law in the year 1996. At that time, uh, it required three years experience at bar to be eligible for judicial services. I, along with my friend Sanjita Srivastava, ADJ Ranchi, who is also present here as a speaker, we started our journey together and we spent a golden year by preparing for judicial service exams at El Havar. And later on, Garima also joined us, who is also ADJ. 
After selection to UP PCSJ, I got my first posting as Civil Judge Junior Division at Mirzapur. Within a year, because of some family constraint, I was transferred to Ghaziabad and uh, got very prestigious and important court of CBI magistrate having jurisdiction of more than 13 districts of UP at that time. Uh, it was a very challenging for me to be CBI magistrate with no experience at all. Uh, I was new to the service. Very soon, I had the opportunity to, opportunity to deal with famous Nithari and Arushi Talwar cases of Noida. But uh, by God's grace and blessings of well wishers, I did it successfully. While working as Secretary, District Legal Services Authority, on the direction of NALSA, I had extensively surveyed and prepared report regarding rights of widows of Renda when and Mathura in the year 2010-11, which was submitted to NALSA and was appreciated by just Honorable Justice Altamas Kabir. I also actively participated in different legal awareness campaign for poor and marginalized sections of the society. I think this was my interest since the uh, very beginning. Uh, after promotion to HGS cadre, I served as a uh, hopefully and uh, fortunately uh, I was ADJ for trying cases relating to women for three years. Now on deputation as secretary UP state law commission, I assisted chairman law commission in preparing different reports and recommendations to the state of government of UK with regard to some several burning issues like uh, mob lynching, anti-conversion law, cow slaughter, property rights of transgender. I think UP is the first state who has uh, recognized and passed the bill uh, regarding property rights of transgenders, uh, senior citizen concerns, and uh, we uh, gave so many opinions on criminal justice system, many of uh, which have not been accepted by the UP government resulting in the formation of act. Apart from that, I also gave, uh, used to give training and organize internship programs for law interns across the country. As today is Women's Day, it would be uh, unjust or unfair if I don't speak anything about the rights and status of women in our society. Our constitution ensures equality for all with a view to bring equality of women from de jure to de facto. And in this regard, educating women would play an important role. So long as there is disparity between the male and female in education level, the difference between the position of men and women would continue to exist. It's so unfortunately true that a woman has, even in her home, given a rather subordinate role to play. Her major concern is expected to be catering to the comforts of the family as a dutiful daughter, loving mother, Obedient daughter-in-law and faithful, submissive wife, this is the hard truth. She is perhaps everything except a woman, human being on par with the counterpart, the man. She has the same feelings, aspirations, emotions, sense of satisfactions, and uh, even frustration. But the society has made her dependent either on father, mother, husband, or son. As Vijayalakshmi Madam was saying, we all have experienced all these things some, sometimes in our uh, life. No woman can say that she has uh, she has achieved everything without the struggle. I do agree, ma'am. To usher in gender equity, it must change. The only way to change this is to have women in decision making, decision making position where they can influence, change, and help to create an inclusive culture. For the emancipation of women in every field, economic independence is paramount importance. Along with economic independence, equal emphasis must also be laid on the total development of women, creating awareness about their rights and responsibilities, the recognition of their vital role and the work they do at home. If necessary, a social system must evolve. The society must respond and change its attitude uh, we can see whenever a uh, crime is committed against uh, women and that too a violent crime, it sends shock waves to the society. But these shocks, waves 
first like bubbles in a very short time. A society must change its attitude. Whenever I say uh, fight for justice by female or uh, cry for gender equality, it is not a fight against bad. It is a fight against traditions that have changed them. Fight against attitude that are ingrained in the society. It is a fight against the proverbial Lakshman Rekha, which is different for men and different for women. Men must rise to the occasion. They must recognize and accept the fact that women are equal partners in life. They are individuals who have their own identity. I extend my good wishes uh, for the festival of Holi to be celebrated, keeping in view and maintaining the necessary pandemic protocol. Thank you and I wish you all a great success in life with the vision. Agar lena hai mere pankho ka intahan, agar lena hai mere pankho ka intahan, to asma se kaho, to asma se kaho, aur uccha ho jai. Thank you. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat. Thank you. Thank you so much, Satna Bhi. ये जो स्पिरिट आपकी है यही शायद सारी महिलाओं की होती है जो चेंज मेकर बनती हैं और आज के इस आयोजन में हम लोग अभिपूत हैं आप लोगों को सुन के एक ऐसे मंच पर जब जहाँ से आप निकले अपनी पंखों को उड़ान देते हुए आगे बढ़ते हुए और बदलाव लाते हुए बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद सपना दी और आवर नेक्स्ट स्पीकर इज मिस संगीता त्रिपाठी सॉरी संगीता श्रीवास्तव आई वुड लाइक टू इन्वाइट मैडम संगीता As our next speaker, uh, Sanjita Srivastava, ma'am, did her BA and LLB from BHU. She joined Jharkhand Judicial Services in the year 2002 as Civil Judge Junior Division. Uh, got promoted to Civil Judge Senior Division and then in the cadre of District Judge in the year 2016. Presently, she is posted as Additional Principal Judge, Family Court, Ranchi. Ma'am, please share your views. Thank you, Vibha. Uh, a very good evening to all of you, Honorable Mr. Justice Vijay Lakshmi, former Judge Allahabad High Court, respected Professor Ali Mehdi Sir, Head and Dean Faculty of Law BHU, Professor Vibha Tripathi, Coordinator, respected Abha Trivedi Ma'am, former Professor, Faculty of Law BHU, and other esteemed faculty members present here and dear students. Firstly, I would like to thank the faculty members and coordinator for giving me this opportunity to share my view on this auspicious occasion of International Women's Day as well as the 100-year celebration of our Alma Mater. I wish Happy International Day to all of you. International Women's Day is a global day celebrating the social, economic, cultural and political achievement of women. The day also makes the call to action for accelerating women's equality. Women have a face a lot of issues. They have to go through gender discrimination, harassment, sexual abuse, lack of education, dowry-related harassment, gender pay gap, and much more. The theme for this year's International Women's Day is Gender Equality Today for a Sustainable Tomorrow. The objective of this day is to create a better gender-neutral society by generating discourse. The United Nations looks forward to highlighting the contribution of women and girls around the world who are volunteering in promoting their communities, are working on climate change, adaptation, mitigation, and in general working in building a more sustainable future for everyone. Much more have already been said by the previous learned speakers regarding the rights of women and the importance of International Women's Day. Hence, I am not going to repeat the same, rather I would concentrate my deliberation with my journey as a judicial officer and achieving the goal under the kind patronage of respected teachers, faculty members and seniors. After completion of my 10 plus 2 for higher studies, I joined BHU, which is the largest and first residential university in Asia and is known as unique capital of knowledge, served with their Kiraj Hari. The student passing out of this institution not only possesses professional skills, but are also imbued with a deep sense of Indianness. Its illustrious founder, Mahavala Pandit Madan Mohan Malviji, offered an in parallel perspective of young minds and facilitated the accomplishment of their creative talent. I feel proud and honored to be a part of this prestigious institution of Mahamana. 
After completion of my graduation, I joined LLB in Faculty of Law BHU, and from the very inception of my law school, I was certain that I want to pursue judiciary as my career because I got motivated to see my uncle who was serving in UP Judicial Service. Under kind patronage of learned faculty members of law school and my seniors, I studied. And after completion of LLB in the year 1996 and acquiring the requisite experience, I appeared in judicial service examination and within no time, I was successful in joining the Jharkhand Judicial Service in the year 2002. In the journey of achieving the goal, my friend Srimati Sapna Mishra, Secretary SLC UP, who is also present as a speaker here, has been helpful and later Srimati Garima Mishra at DJ Devgar also joined us, who is also present here as a speaker and ultimately we three have achieved our goal. Thank you Sapna and Garima. In the year 2002, I joined Jharkhand Judicial Service as Civil Judge Junior Division and by first, my first posting was at Dhanbad. And by the period of time, I got promotion to the Civil Judge Senior Division and then to the cadre of District Judge since 2016. And presently, I am serving as Additional Principal Judge Family Kodarachi. During my posting, I worked as Judicial Magistrate First Class, Principal Magistrate Junal Justice Bo, as DGM, ACGM and District Additional Session Judge from CBI Judge. I have decided a variety of cases till date that come before my court, including civil suits, criminal cases, and family law matters. I decided, I decided the cases sincerely and sensitively following the rules of court and rules dealing with the evidences that can be used. While serving as principal magistrate, Junal Justice Board, having jurisdiction of seven districts of Jharkhand, I came across the conditions of juveniles in conflict with law. Need care, protection, and treatment for ultimate rehabilitation of children in conflict with law in the best interest of the child. During my tenure as principal magistrate, Junal Justice Board, first bar look adalat was organized under the guidance of Jhansa and a number of cases have been disposed of. While working as session judge, I have dealt with many sensitive cases and out of them, in one case which is related with triple murder case, the accused was found guilty on the basis of evidences and he was awarded capital punishment which is under confirmation to the Honorable High Court of Jharkhand. While serving as additional family judge, I came across the disputes relating to marriages and family affairs and for matters connected therewith like maintenance, permanent alimony, child custody, etc. And as per my experience, matrimonial disputes are preferred to handle than any civil or criminal disputes. However, while acting as family judge, I focus to protect and preserve the institution of marriage and to promote the welfare of children and provide for settlement of dispute by mediation and conciliation. As a working woman, we are facing a lot of challenges and we have to balance between our professional life and managing household work, handling children, family, etc. But there's nothing impossible for a woman because she is born with dedication to make everything possible. I can say that being a woman is itself a superpower. Now, I would like to suggest to our young students that never have any self-doubt because each individual is extraordinary and so never give up on your goal, notwithstanding how arduous the task might seem. Because no mountain is too steep to climb, or no ocean is too deep to navigate. Thank you. Thank you once again. <laughs> uh, thank you so much, Sanjita Di. Uh, really, it is the attitude which makes the difference. And uh, now I would like to invite uh, Dr. Ruby Majundar Bhattacharya, Madam who was the first to join this webinar, even at 5.30 p.m. she joined and she kept waiting for her turn. So before inviting her, I would like to introduce her before this August gathering. Dr. Ruby Majundar has joined us from United Kingdom. And it is perhaps her lunch time, and we are extremely grateful that she accepted our invitation. Uh, Dr. Ruby Majumdar Bhattacharya has been a bright, enthusiastic, and passionate student of the Law School BHU. 
She completed her LLB, LLM and PhD from this very faculty and the recipient of ARF and FRF UGC scholarship. Initially, she served as lecturer as Kashi Vidya Peet and then went to North Bengal University, West Bengal. She completed the common professional examination and the legal practice course from the University of Northumbria, UK. She also completed professional skills course from the College of Law, London, UK, before being appointed as solicitor of England and Wales. She became the Law Society's uh, immigration panel man member and served a member of regional funding review committee of the Legal Service Commission. In order to satisfy her passion for women's rights and justice, currently she is dealing with domestic abuse and homelessness by working with the local government in their housing department. Someone from the audience was asking also on the issue of domestic violence. So uh, I think she would be the perfect person to answer that query also. Ma'am, Ruby ma'am, you are very uh, humbly welcome to deliver your lecture. Thank you. Can you hear me? Yes, yes, of course. Okay. But um, you cannot uh, 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 see. You can't see me. I don't want to be seen. Okay. But I can, but I would be hesitant. I can open it later on, but let okay. me um, say a few words. Um, good evening, everyone. Um, and to my Sadar Pranam, to my teachers, if they are in the audience, and I can see um, Madam Ava, Ava Trivedi is there, um, yes. and all the uh, colleagues, or ex-colleagues, and uh, participants. I, obviously, as Vibha said, sorry, I'm calling you Vibha, Professor Vibha, because I'm in habit of calling people by first name, sorry about that. But as Viva said, I completed my LLB, LLM, and PhD from BHU. Um, overwhelmed. Um, the, on the auspicious, like, that's the important day of uh, International.